welcome in today's video we're going to be talking about do local business within the solano county area sacramento san francisco and northern california in general do do those businesses need seo right if you consider yourself a small business you perhaps have um uh, one person or, or or one to ten per pe person working in your business over one to fifty right um you can you think that those will need uh need a ceo well to be honest the short answer is yes it doesn't need, i always need to be the whole complex seo but there's some seo that i'm gonna touch briefly in specific seo that at least is the basic of every business that serves locally or you know provides services locally or or, or sells products locally that at least you should have in place. And here are five reasons your small business need to embrace SEO in order to get found online. So let's go ahead and get started. First, before we get started, my name is Leo. I have a digital marketing agency in Solano County. I speak Spanish as well. Hablo español, si necesitan ayuda. And I bring you videos like this so that you can go ahead and learn some of the stuff that I apply for myself, businesses that I work with, and I continue to learn. So stay tuned. You can just go to my uh, website, check out what sort of things I have, services, or uh, if you would just would like to subscribe to continue to receive information whenever I release similar videos to this, to education on digital marketing or what's going on around Solano County. Uh, the website is www.digitaltrack.co. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. As a small business in the Bay Area, Sacramento area, Sacramento, um, you know, we all lack resources to complete to compete with uh, large corporations on almost every level, right? They have an enormous amount of money, so we have to get really creative, and we really have to watch our money and and put it really strategically in places that we actually give us a return without hurting your, our business too much, right? Uh, for this reason, they or small businesses often rely on the combination of retaining current customers and a word of mouth, uh, word of mouth marketing uh, to keep businesses afloat. However, it is difficult to grow without an online presence nowadays. It is very important that you at least have the basics in place so that if I'm out there, and this is mainly for businesses where people are looking for it, right? So if I'm out there with a problem and you are the solution to my problem, either because I'm hungry, either because I'm feeling like eating a specific type of food, because I need to take my pet to the doctor, I need to go to the doctor, I need to go to the dentist, right? Whatever those situations are, more than likely I'm going to be searching online or asking a friend so either way it may be it, it is important to have an online presence if i ask a friend you're still gonna go and research a little bit about it online at least in my personal opinion and people that i i'm associated with i know that maybe people that they will not do that uh, but still right there's a um, big percentage that you may want to capture that even if they ask their friend, they're still going to go and research online. So if you don't have a SEO, it will be difficult to grow with that online presence. And it could be local SEO, and I'm going to touch base a little bit more on that. No matter how your business is doing at the moment, what you hear from other small businesses owners and how much you have to spend on marketing, your company needs SEO, and here are five reasons why. Number one, it gives it gives you a high return on your investment. So SEO could be inexpensive and effective, especially starting with local SEO. That is, you know, having your business listed at least on um, places that matters to your industry where you are. So obviously you gotta start with Google, right? Make sure you appear on Google Maps, and then go to like Yelp, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and other sites depending again on what industry you are. In fact, many marketers say that SEO gives them the highest return on investment of all digital marketing channels in a service from Search Engine Journal, and I can provide you the link to that. 40% of uh, respondents name organic search as the top of channel, paid search came in second place with just 19%. So 
out of 100 people, mark people that do advertising, 40 of them responded. You know, this is just a hypothetical number. Imagine that out of 100 pe people that do online advertising, 40 of them uh, said that uh, the organic search is the top of one of the top searches of bringing new customers or main channels to bring new customers. And just 19 of those uh, that do have some type of online presence, or do some type of online, uh, they, they do the online page search. So that's just to put some this number in context. That's not the exact amount. That I am just wanted to put those numbers in context. Number two, right? Number two reason why SEO is important. It can help you reach just your target audience. So traditional marketing methods involve putting your message in front of anyone who happens to see it. For example, if you put it in magazines, if you put it in newspapers, if you distribute flyers uh, without having specific um, people to go to, it, it's basically you know a mass marketing media. If you put it on radio, TV, television, etc., right? It goes in front of anybody who happens to see it. You have no capability to target the users you want. However, with SEO, a local SEO, uh, you know, search engine optimization, it's just the opposite, right? With the right strategy, only people who are interested in your offering will see your website and content. So you will be reaching just your target audience. Reason number three, why you should have SEO. It helps your business build a brand recognition. So as a small business, you are unknown to all but your customers. SEO can change this. As you start appearing in search results on a map, you become a recognizable name. This helps your business develop a sense of credibility and authority, increasing the likelihood that prospects see you as a brand they can trust. Best of all, unlike with physical marketing materials, once you create a web page or a piece of content for SEO, it will stay online permanently, right? So uh, magazines can go and come and go, flyers, and, and any type of print media that they come and go. But however, um, anything that you put on your website, it, it will stay permanently as long, of course, you are paying your hosting fees, your domain, right? And you don't delete it uh, from your uh, main uh, website, from your website. All right, so reason number four, it will help you retain customers. And a major aspect of SEO is creating a great user experience on your website. This not only benefits new visitors, but also current customers. So think about that, right? If current customers are pleasing to come to your store and ha think of your website as an extension of your store, right? If you have your customers coming into your store and they feel pleasant to be there, obviously they're gonna continue to, be, to, con to come back. And if you don't have a physical store where your service is a similar approach to that, so having a, if a website was extension to that, right? Like, what's the what's the what you want to reflect about your business on the online presence as an extension of your either service or your local uh, physical store? A positive experience on your website will ensure that these customers see your brand as professional. Plus, if they enjoy the time they spend on your website, they are more likely to stick around to check out more of your content. This can lead to traditional purchases and upselling. Number five, reason number five why SEO is important. It will help your business stay competitive. If your competitors are using SEO, but you are not, you are at disadvantage because guess what? When people are searching for your product or your services, your competitor will be the one showing up online, but not you. Alternative, if your competitors are mainly small businesses themselves and have yet to realize the importance of SEO, you can have the upper hand from the start. Uh, that, of course, making... So the upper hand, because you'll be coming up more and more and more when people are searching for it, you'll be at the top of uh, search results. However, you have to continue maintain great customer service, right? Because... Uh, having a bad customer service, having a bad service, having a bad product, SEO all is going to do is massively expose how bad of a business you have. But if you have a great business, um, SEO is just another channel to help you uh, expose that to your the correct audience. All right, so where were we? Um, 
As SEO takes a while to fully take effect, beginning early will put you ahead into the long form. Some businesses think they are better off without SEO because of the expense. Others have heard horror stories from small businesses who try SEO and fail. However, SEO is always worthwhile when you have the right strategy, but what you cannot do is neglect SEO completely, right? This will make it difficult, if not impossible, to reach new, new prospects and thrive as a business. So, if you could use some help getting started on your SEO strategy, um, let me help you with a free consultation. So, you can go to my website, www.digitaltrack.co, and in it, there's a form that you can complete if you are looking to get a free analysis of what your current presence, online presence of your business is, right? And if, it, if there's any tips or strategies I can provide to help you improve it, we will go ahead and discuss it. I hope you're, you find this video helpful. And if you like it, please go subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, give it a like and post any questions you may have from this video or things that you would like to see uh, posted in future videos. All right, have a good one. Bye.